Good morning, it's Jeremy. Today I'm going to be receiving NOAA uh, weather satellite on Raspberry Pi. And uh, recently I've been uh, experimenting with the NOAA satellites and I've received them uh, using SDR Angel on a Windows laptop. But today what we're going to do is try and get it on the Raspberry Pi. So what we've got here is my dipole V antenna. It's got a 120 degree angle and the elements are 54.5 centimeters. That's the wavelength over four for a dipole. And over here is the equipment. So um, there's my Raspberry Pi 4. I've got different images depending on what I'm doing. I've got an image for GOES satellite. I've got a regular Raspberry Pi Raspbian image. And the one I'm using today is the open plotter headless uh, image. So in a previous blog post and video, I talked about the headless operation of Raspberry Pi 4. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'm gonna be looking at what we receive on uh, my laptop screen and keyboard. It's just a remote screen and keyboard. So basically the signal from the antenna comes in here. It goes to, uh, this is a bandpass filter at 137 megahertz. It's got a low noise amplifier built in. It's all SMA connected and then it goes to an RTL SDR version 2 with a metal case. This one's fairly accurate so the PPM is let's say between minus 1 and 0, it's usually around 0 depending on the temperature. The power for this guy uh, comes uh, on this cable here. Uh, I don't have a, a bias T on this guy so it's got the separate power. And then the uh, whole setup is powered from a portable lithium battery. So this is the tape measure I used to check the element on the uh, dipole and that's a protractor I used to measure the 120 degrees. Okay so here we are inside and we're just looking at the I'm using the laptop just basically the screen and the keyboard so you can look here on this is Windows 10 and you can see that I'm connected to the uh, open plotter Wi-Fi that's the connection from the uh, Raspberry Pi and then on, I'm using VNC Viewer, and I'm using the uh, connection 10.10.10.1 to get me into the Raspberry Pi. And there's the beautiful Norwegian Fjord, and that's my desktop for the Raspberry Pi 4. So I'm gonna go into um, Camtasia, and we'll look at all the software that we're gonna be using uh, in the Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, it's now 7.53. There's NOAA 15. It's coming into view. Um, acquisition uh, starts in a couple of seconds. It's 7.53.59, so let's wait. So it's coming over the horizon. <clears throat> There's my QTH, there's NOAA 15. All right, so we're now over the horizon. So the AOS is switched to LOS. Okay, so we've got about uh, 15 minutes. So let's go over to GQRX. And we'll start to listen for a signal. You can sort of see on the waterfall shows up first. So you can see some traces there. So something's happening as the elevation increases. We'll start to pull in our signal. Okay, so I'm going to start to record now. You can see the uh, 2.4 kilohertz there popping out of the spectrum. <clears throat> Yeah, we can see our lines here, they're fairly decent. A week actually. Okay, we're getting a fairly decent signal now. These side bands are fairly strong. You got a strong 2.4 kilohertz, and we're seeing most of the side bands. I look east here uh, for my uh, QTH, and there's a fair amount of obstruction with buildings, so the elevation has to be bigger than 15 or 20 degrees, otherwise I won't see anything to be blocked by the building. So the first part of the pass was blocked because of the buildings, the elevation was like 10 degrees, it was too low. If I just quickly look at the elevation, let's see where we are now. 
right now the elevation is 18 degrees so that's just the limit that I can see in my location but we're getting a strong signal now Okay, so the elevation has dropped now. Uh, the signal is gone for all intents and purposes. So let's see what the next step is. So what we're going to do now is we've saved the uh, wave file. See down here, Fanoa 15, our elevation is only 13 degrees, so we're not going to see anything. So let's quit here. And we're going to start NOAA APT. So I'm going to go into the uh, documents directory. There's my NOAA APT file. And I'm going to click on the uh, shell script, and that will run the program. OK, so there's the program. So the first thing to do is we're going to locate the WAV file that we've just saved. And let's see, it should be in home directory. That's the one. OK, open. So now we're going to hit decode. The GQRX, uh, by the way, saves the wave file to uh, 48 kilohertz sampling. So you notice down here it was resampled in no APT. So now we go to processing. And let's uh, check off, put the map on. And let's hit process and see what we see. There we go. So for that brief moment of time, we didn't, uh, the signal wasn't there for all that much time. We did see something. Uh, and those are the two channels with the map overlay.